Hey Leo, welcome to your WLC, Weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. If you need information about my personal readings, the tarot decks that I'm using, as well as links to all my extended reads, they are all in the description box below. Also, I encourage you to visit my new revamped website, nomadsoulwarrior.com. In there, you would see all the um, extended reads from this month onwards. And um, in my shop section, and you would um, see them easily. You can navigate through them um, as I group them or categorize them based on your sign. Also, if you sign up, you'll get a um, discount for your first personal reading with me. As well as you'll get updated with all the um, giveaways and um, fun stuff, upcoming ones. Alright, so for now, let's go ahead and do your reading. What do we have for Leo in love? What do we have for Leo? Oops. What do we have for Leo in love? This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter. In love. Four of Swords, Seven of Coins, the Two of Swords, High Priestess, the Knight of Swords. Everyone seems to be resting in, in all the readings I've done, um, primarily because of this um, lockdown event we have here in the U.S., Let's see. And also, your heart has um, has been resting, which is pretty good. Sometimes we need that rest. Yeah? For your Leo, I feel this is a connection where you've decided to take a step back and take that time to think things through. Being mutual energy, this is applicable for both of you. So this could be a, a phase right after a breakup, after that tumultuous event or um, situation between the two of you, that your heart, your mind needs to have a break to process things, to try to absorb it, to try to absorb the information that you have gotten from your conversation or arguments even, and to understand, to go through the process. So this is a rest period. Okay. In terms of this connection, I feel, um, Leo, that you understood fully. You have gotten a clear understanding of um, how this is going, where this is going, or what you want this to, where you want this to go. And most importantly, you understand what is going on. So that's good. Because sometimes people just get hurt without even understanding why they're hurt. People break up, but they don't understand why. But for you, you do. You do understand what is going on here, where you have done well, where you have fallen short. And you've put some effort into this connection in the past, and now you are in a waiting mode. Resting and waiting not much um, action oriented for now four of wands palace of wands and the star could be dealing with an Aquarius But I feel that you see this connection as um, more than just a um, physical connection with someone. Part of you, Leo, knows that this person is special. Your connection is pretty significant in your life. That along the way, while you were building with this person, you, you're learning more about yourself. You're learning more about how a relationship goes with another individual. 
and you're beginning to see a soul tie here. What do I mean by that? It's primarily, primarily when you first meet the person and there's chemistry, there's physical attraction and all that, all the butterflies, everything else turn white and all. So that's just the surge of adrenaline in your body, right? You had that with this person, but along the way, while you continue building, while you continue being with one another, you see a different side of you being unleashed, a different side, a different side of you um, that is beginning to see the impact of this person's existence in your life. It's not just on the carnal side of life, but more so to your soul in um, getting you into understanding more about even uncovering your traumas in life, the way you act towards them, the way you respond to them, talks a lot about your past experiences. And I feel that your connection with this person has actually opened up those feelings. Yeah. And you know that um, this is a soulmate. A soulmate that you have fallen in love with, at the same time, a soulmate that is pretty hard to let go. A soulmate that you feel is even toxic. A relationship that you have with the soulmate seems to be toxic. in as much as you want to clear your mind to let go of this of situations that no longer serve you or to let go of situations that you feel is just too much or too intense for you this is not that you're trying you're trying to even divert your energies into some other things just to bring balance into this deep longing, deep connection that you have with this person. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Lovers, definitely. This deep connection that you have is just too intense to deal with. Leo is too intense for you and there's a lot of major arcanas I'm seeing in your card so these changes it's good that you're taking a rest because having to have all these energies um, eyeing towards you it's very hard to deal with but you're still being you you have an eye for things that are working for you you have an eye for things that you want and you're gonna go for it. In terms of this connection though, I feel that you are putting this, you're parking this for now. You know that in the long run, there is that level of, or that possibility, or you can even work things out here to renew this connection in the long run, sometime in the future. Because I do see that you're wanting this um, relationship, you're wanting to be with this person, um, to grow, to build a life together, to be abundant with one another, to be supportive, and all that. You want this. But as of the moment, I do see that you are evaluating. There is an element of waiting here. Again, waiting on your side. But deep inside, Leo, believe it or not, or you may agree with me or not, you want this person. You want a life with this person. Because you are connecting with them, not just in a physical sense, but it's beyond that. This is someone you feel that who understands you. And you know what? Even if you tell this person, okay, you feel that this is a person who understands you inside out. Whatever you tell them, you feel that they understood, they're being kind, they're being compassionate towards you and all that. And you feel that's good enough. 
But on your side, Leo, this is someone who is, um, you, you, I mean, on their side, you're dealing with someone who is pretty intuitive, very intuitive, in fact. And somebody that you would would appear like is just going with the flu. If you tell them one thing, they would say okay, directly. And you feel like um, they may have believed you fully. But this is a person who is very intuitive, and therefore, not everything that you say to them would they would believe it. But they would respond to you in a way that they think it's logical. Say, for instance, if you need help. If you have broken up and then you need help from this person, once you reach out to them, you tell them a story, you, still, you tell them the situation, whether it's the true nature of the situation or not, your person will decide based on their intuition whether is it, or based on a logical sense. As a human being, should I help Leo? If the answer is yes, they would extend to you. But that doesn't mean that they have um, fully accepted your the story that you have given them. Because this person can sense whether it's a very strong sense of intuition where they can tell whether you're lying, you're making up a story, and things like that. But they deal with you more of the logical sense now. Because putting, up, putting their, their feelings in doesn't work here. This is a person now who is operating on their logical sense as a human being, not as a partner of you, not as your lover, but more so, yeah, just another human being. And what's the right thing to do? Okay? But you want this connection. You still want it. And there's a break. This is a necessary break. A reconnection, um, rebirth of this connection is, is um, on the horizon. All right, so if this is your story, um, if this resonates with you, Leo, I'll be extending this reading and I would be delving further into your person's energies, how they feel about this connection, what's going on, any advice we could get. Uh, to navigate in this situation as well as any direct messages from the person that you're dealing with. So if you are um, interested to follow me, the extended the link is in the description box below. Also, you can check it out in my website, nomadsoulwire.com, under the shop section. All your extended readings will be categorized per sign for ease of navigation. Otherwise, leave me comments and let me know how this resonates with you. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell. If this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.